When designing tires for electric vehicles, manufacturers tend to place a heavy emphasis on efficiency in an effort to maximize vehicle range. But how much better is the range when using the original equipment tires for the vehicle compared to replacement market tires that weren't designed for EVs? And are there sacrifices in other areas of performance to achieve the improved efficiency? To find out the answers to some of the questions surrounding EV tires, we compared the original equipment Continental Pro Contact RX for a Tesla Model 3 to the very popular replacement market Continental Pure Contact LS. We put both tires through our normal round of testing, and we added a real-world range evaluation to determine each tire's impact on vehicle range. To compare efficiency, we used a 200-mile highway loop around our South Bend, Indiana headquarters. The vehicle reported efficiency for the original equipment Pro Contact RX was 274 watt-hours per mile, and the Pure Contact LS was only a small step less efficient at 286 watt-hours per mile. Based on our estimated range calculations, the difference in efficiency would result in about 16 miles more range for the Pro Contact RX at 100% charge, 262 miles compared to 246 for the Pure Contact LS. Without the constant sound of an internal combustion engine, tire noise can be much more noticeable in an EV, so that's another area tire manufacturers tend to focus on when developing EV tires. The Pro Contact RX features a layer of sound-absorbing foam adhered to the inner liner, and our test drivers preferred its noise comfort. The Pure Contact LS created some distinctive tones that were noticeable, especially in the otherwise quiet cabin of our test vehicle. Ride quality was very close between the two, but the OE tire offered a slightly more compliant experience. Our team preferred the more linear steering of the Pro Contact RX. The Pure Contact LS was light and quick at low speeds, but overly heavy on the highway. When it was time for our wet evaluation, both tires performed well enough that they would likely satisfy drivers on the road, but the Pure Contact LS demonstrated a noticeable traction advantage over its OE counterpart. The biggest difference was in 50 to 0 mile per hour braking, where the Pure Contact LS stopped nearly 16 feet shorter. It also generated more lateral grip, but those numbers were closer together with just three hundredths of a G separating the two. Once the track dried off, we compared objective braking distances and lateral traction, and the two tires were very close. The Pro Contact RX stopped about four feet shorter from 50 miles an hour, and the Pure Contact LS generated slightly more cornering grip on the skid pad. In our light snow testing, the Pure Contact LS delivered the dominant performance, requiring four fewer feet to accelerate from zero to 12 miles an hour, and bringing the vehicle to a stop a massive 17 feet shorter from 25 miles an hour. Around the handling track, our drivers felt that the Pure Contact LS provided a greater sense of control in all aspects, from the way it put the power down, to lateral traction through turns, and definitely bringing the vehicle to a stop. While the Pro Contact RX was capable enough to get the job done, the Pure Contact LS felt like it excelled at the multifaceted traction required when pushing to the limit. On the ice, the gap between the two narrowed once again. The Pure Contact LS managed to come to a complete stop from 12 miles an hour and 47.3 feet, and the Pro Contact RX required just slightly longer at 50.5 feet to perform the same task. 